Okay, so that's basically the experience that I had. Uh, as soon as I'd had that experience, and I turned the record off, I like walked outside or something, and I was in, I was amazed. I was still kind of in a, in a daze, absolutely astonished at, at what I had experienced. And I didn't tell anybody. I didn't, I didn't tell anyone ever, you know, for the longest time. And there's a reason why I'm telling this now. In fact, I actually wrote a, I, I wanted to write a book about not only that experience, but uh, the things that I've learned because of that experience and because of my decision that I made. Um, and I didn't, like I said, I didn't fully decide altogether right then. I just knew I wasn't going to make a decision right then. And I decided I wanted to know whether or not God himself had a purpose for my life. And if he did have a purpose for my life, I wanted to know what it was. Before I would just go away with these guys and, and give them my life and, and be a musician for them or whatever, I wanted to know if God had a purpose for my life too. And if he did, you know, I want to know what it, what it was and what, what was his offer. If these guys are going to offer me whatever their offer was, we'll give you money and fame or success as a musician or something, what, what might God offer me? And so I thought that became important to me. It's like, I wonder if God has a purpose for my life, too. I mean, if these guys could find me and offer me something, maybe God knows where I am and could offer me something. And so that's what sort of took over my thinking. Is like, you know, if God wants to approach me and offer me something, I'm, I'm all ears. I'm <laughs> ready to hear. And uh, nevertheless, here's the funny thing. I still knew that those guys were never far away. And that at any time, if I wanted to talk to them again, I could. I, could. I felt that way. And so I still was sort of like listening out of both ears. Hey God, if you want to tell me anything, I'm open. Hey you guys, don't go too far away because I haven't really technically said no. I just didn't say yes yet. That's how my attitude was. So um, I was definitely, I felt empowered I guess. I, I felt like this is a decision that I need to make and uh, I'm waiting to see what, you know, what I should do. But I didn't tell anybody about the experience. But what I did do, uh, I asked my friend whose album I, this Black Sabbath album, the guy who owned the album and whose stereo it was, uh, I, I asked him if he would sell me the album because I wanted to, I wanted to own the album. And, and I thought, you know, I didn't have a lot of money. So before I would go out and buy it in the store brand new, I just, just thought I'd ask him. You know, hey, hey, dude, you want to sell me that album? And he gave it to me. He did. You could have it. You know. And I thought, wow, that that's cool. So he gave me the album, and I listened to it every day. I listened to it over and over and over. And uh, I guess I didn't get I didn't get scared enough not not to, <laughs> to listen to it. So I wasn't really scared of it. Um, I just I don't know what I thought, but. I listened to the album and I played guitar to it and I got to where I could play my guitar to every song on the album perfectly. I mean I just, I knew every song inside and out and when I wasn't playing it wherever I was, it, it, the music was in my head and I felt empowered by it and I liked that and it began to become something that I saw as the real me and I didn't consciously think about my decision or anything like that. I simply, it was in the back of my mind all the time that a decision is going to have to be made someday. But in the meantime, <sighs> might as well listen to the album, might as well learn how to play guitar. It's what I like, it's what I want to do. So I didn't take anything to, I didn't worry about it. Um, and I just carried on. And eventually, God did make me an offer, but it took years before he did. In fact, I had just graduated high school when, when he made me his side of the offer. And in that time, those remaining high school years, uh, I became more active in pursuing music and, and, and I still saw that as uh, something I wanted to do. And it's very, very funny how subtle the 
you don't consciously think, I didn't consciously think about my experience hardly at all, but it was in the back of my mind, very distant. And in fact, it became possible for me later to wonder whether it, it even ever happened. And I started looking at it almost as though I might have made the whole thing up. And it was just, you know. And I started believing that was possible. And the only reason that I ever became willing in many, many, many years later to even talk about it or write a book about it and uh, is because of something that happened. I don't know if I should tell this part now to validate, but I, I'll go ahead and tell it. 